Hello, scientists. Welcome back as we continue our investigation of why we can't see sneezes and coughs, but can feel them. Today, we're going to be using a model to help us understand why we can't see air, which is what coughs and sneezes are made of, but we can feel them. This is a model of gas matter. If we were able to see matter very, very close up, I mean closer than any magnifying glass or microscope you have used in your life. All matter is made up of particles. Particles are bits of matter, or what I like to call the stuff of the universe. This stuff is made up of one or more atoms. Atoms are a word that you'll learn more about in future science classes or by reading a book or watching other sciencey multimedia. Particles of matter also take up space. In this model, gas particles are shown or represented by these purple round shaped objects. Right now the model is frozen, but in a moment I am going to hit play, which will allow these gas particles to move about in the way that we think gas particles move in real life. Here we go. Whoa, what do you notice about how these gas particles are moving? What are you wondering about? Are you wondering how we might be able to follow one of these particles around to see where that goes? We can do that with this model too. Let's mark two different particles and see how they behave more carefully. Wow, we just improved this model because now it is much easier to see how one specific particle moves when it collides with the edge of the model or with another particle? How would you describe the particle's motion? How would you describe the particle's speed? Is it always the same? Or does it change? What happens when one particle collides with another particle? Where are these particles going anyway? Let's trace a random particle to see what happens. Whoa. Let's remove that trace and try it again. So what does this model tell us about gas matter? What does it tell us about the particles that make up air and other gases in our world? How does this model help us think about a cough or a sneeze when it is in our lungs or when it's out in the air around us? Wow, that model sure was something. Was that like anything you've ever seen before? Sometimes we use language to help us describe things in our world. 
we make what are called metaphors, comparisons between things that we know and understand and are real and things that we're trying to understand, like a sneeze or a <coughs> cough. So I want you to return back to your classroom now and talk about what you observed, what you noticed, and what you're wondering about this model and what it tells us about how the gas or air that makes up our coughs and sneezes might behave when we go through one of those behaviors. Have a great day.